so we can't say that this is really surprising, but I, it's a little disheartening nonetheless. And that is that the upcoming Patty Jenkins directed Rogue Squadron movie has now been pulled from the upcoming Disney release calendar, to which my brain immediately goes, that movie's definitely not happening anymore. Uh, I mean, it could still happen, but I'm just going to go with the assumption that this movie's canceled, because if it's not on the release schedule anymore, um, we had heard that they had some creative differences. This is disappointing because it sounded like a really interesting concept. They really hyped it up during that investor's day of just like Patty Jenkins on the tarmac talking about how her dad was a pilot. She grew up around pilots. She's super excited to do this story. But, and here's, I'm too lazy to pull out the tinfoil hat. The big that, old butt. The, that announcement came out before 1984, Wonder Woman 1984. And Lucasfilm has this horrible track record of big, sexy names for directors that would look good on paper directing a Star Wars movie, but are currently doing something else in the meantime. And then when that thing doesn't go well, they quietly dismiss that director. Yes. Um, oh, Which is, don't believe think, me? Colin yeah. Trevorrow was supposed to do Star Wars Episode Nine: Duel of the Fates. And then this movie called Book of Henry came along and they went, nah, we're good. Or Josh Trank did Fan Four Stick right before he was announced to be directing the Boba Fett project, which ended up being a TV show instead. He got quietly fired. I... They aren't going to come out and publicly say this, but until we get some further proof and like actually start putting in development on this, I'm not confident anymore that Taika Waititi's Star Wars movie is happening anymore either after Love and Thunder. I wouldn't be surprised if they're like, eh, well, you had one bad day at the office. The rest of your movies are great, but you had this one movie. Goodbye. We're expecting perfection because Lucasfilm has this really weird track record lately of until you're actually sitting down in the theater to watch it, it is not promised that you're actually going to see the Star Wars project that's been announced. Like, yeah, it's <laughs> and even then, like he's just halfway through watching something in theaters and they're just like, oh, sorry, we ran out of film. Um, <laughs> Pulled the rest by. of it's on Disney Plus. You got to pay 30 bucks for it. I just yeah, I, I was kind of excited for it because didn't they? Pitched this originally like a like a Top Gun, but in the Star Wars movie. So movies, Too bad Top which Gun was, Maverick already did it. Yeah, but like also this that would be so much fun. I just uh, I would love that a lot, and I, it's it is kind of sad to to hear that it's or non non officially canceled uh, <laughs> under the table canceled um, indefinitely delayed. That sucks. Yeah, but I think this does speak to the larger issue of Lucasfilm slash Kathleen Kennedy just kind of uh, taking one bad day at the office and being like, all right, cool, bye, no more. Uh, you know, it, it's a good thing she was, she's uh, not, more, it's really unfortunate, actually, that she's not in charge of Bob Chapek because, you know, one day, bad day at the office and he would have been gone yeah well i don't think she would have put him in charge anyway she would have fired him after two weeks because she got yep. decisive about something and who knows oh! all, all we know is it could be on the other side if patty jenkins was asking for too much creative control because honestly i don't know where she's currently at either because right before wonder woman 1984 they're like we're going to do a tv show about the mascara i'm going to be on board for wonder woman 3 We've heard nothing about either of those. As far as we know, the only upcoming anything Wonder Woman is supposedly some appearance in Shazam Fury of the Gods. But that makes sense because, you know, the gods and she is one by proxy. Um, for Who knows? Maybe it's a mutual thing of Patty Jenkins couldn't come to terms with whatever Lucasfilm wanted. Maybe Lucasfilm just got some feet on some stuff, but... Again, this is just a continued mess in the mess that is Lucasfilm. Basically, since day one, the yeah. only movie that's gone off without a hitch, I feel like, is The Force Awakens. And then everything else has had some form of issue. Rogue One had all those massive reshoots. Um, then Solo exists, Last Jedi, and all the issues that that had. <laughs> uh, then Rise of Skywalker. Uh, okay. like, yeah, I mean, Solo's not 
Solo's not, it's not bad, bad, but you it's... can't deny firing your director with two weeks left to go in filming, and supposedly yeah, the a... cast and crew applauded them getting fired. Like that sketch, yeah. Super sketch. I so cause I think there's a third vein to this though. There is an entire like entirely you know relevant possibility that with the release and success of uh, Top Gun Maverick and it being this close to the possibility of Rogue Squadron, Disney looked at Rogue Squadron and was like, you know what? Someone kind of beat us to the punch in a way. If if Top Gun Maverick hadn't been, ha- hadn't had done as well as it had, I think maybe this might still be within the realm of possibility as far as happening. But with, since they were pitching Rogue Squadron as like Star Wars version of Top, Top Gun, I can see them being like, all right, you know, Top Gun came back and kind of made a really big splash. It would look kind of weird, and the movie would have a lot kind of going against it if we tried to do do this anyway, despite Maverick. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up the Maverick thing because it's the top grossing movie of 20, um, 2022. I forgot what year we're here in temporarily. <laughs> you would think someone would want to capitalize on the success of that be like, all right, Here's another dogfight movie, to which someone actually is. There is I don't know if you've seen those trailers for the movie coming out called Devotion, which stars Glenn Powell as, you know, another wingman and another unnamed war. I'm just going, what in the world? This is a little on the nose here, guys. But I would think <laughs> if you're Lucasfilm, you'd want to capitalize on this. You'd be like, oh, flying movies are back in style. Let's bring this back. But again, it's just really weird decisions on Lucasfilm's part to the point of just like, nothing's really guaranteed anymore and it's yeah it's annoying more than anything yeah no i agree uh and like i guess in some capacity nothing ever is quote unquote guaranteed but like like we talked we've talked a lot in past weeks about how like warner brothers doesn't seem to have their craft together at all whereas what else is new i mean yes but like it's weird how we don't have the same same criticism for for a Lucasfilm when it comes oh, no, to this. Oh no, I do. I, or uh, sorry, let me uh, as vocal as mm. you know, like oh man, well, what are they doing over there? Like, but that's always like Warner Brothers. But I guess maybe that's just like the current hog that we're all poking. 